G'day YouTube, today we are going to go over seven things that you need to know before playing Way of the Hunter. Also, later in the video, there will be a little bit of information about a giveaway for a copy of Way of the Hunter, so make sure you check that out too. Without further ado, the first thing you need to know about Way of the Hunter is that the need zones are slightly different to games you might have already played. For example, there will be two of each need zone time. There is a drink need zone time, rest need zone time, and a feed need zone time. So I've got this need zone sort of description, information, whatever, about a red deer on the screen that you can see. You can see that there are two drink zones, two rest zones, two feed zones. Well, that's for the times, obviously. But yeah, as you can see, two of each. The need zone analysis sort of mechanic in the game is a bit interesting as well. It tells you a couple of things. Number one, the animal species. Here you can see it's a red deer. Number two, the structure, which I believe is like the type, which is a resting zone. And number three, frequency of use often. Now, to me, that means that there could be different areas in which an animal could go to a need zone. So it might not always show up in the area that you want or you're expecting it, but this need zone that was covered in the gameplay trailer, it says often, so I'm guessing you'll find it there most times. Assuming it's within the red deer need zone time. Depending on how you look at it, this could actually change the way you hunt, which is pretty interesting. But keep that in mind when playing the game that just because you found a need zone for an animal at a certain time, it might not be there the next time around. The second thing, which I'm actually really excited about, is that the render distance has been absolutely obliterated from past games, where we're used to about 380 to 420 meters. Now we can see all the way up to 800 meters, which is great. This enables us to take longer shots and even more realistic scouting. We're able to sit up on top of a hill face and scout with our binoculars from up to 800 meters away, which is absolutely huge. Now, I wouldn't consider taking shots at this range because it is a lot harder as your target will be a lot smaller. So please, if you're being an ethical hunter, just get a little closer to your animals, please. The next thing, now we're usually used to recommended weapons and weapon classes for hunting animals. It looks to be a little different as the info sheets have hit energy, not recommended weapons. So this could mean that the same weapon could be an actual option depending on the ammo you're using. So for example, I'm thinking of the 243, depending on if you're using one that's got a low amount of grain to a higher amount of grain, could be dependent on if it's able to actually reach that hit energy mark to take out an animal. Similar to the way that polymer and soft points have different hit energy, in the sense that polymer has more penetration to soft points that have more expansion. Not sure what we'll see in terms of different ammo types for weapons, but think about the hit energy, please. Even though you're thinking about your hit energy, please remember to hit vitals. Vitals are what will take down your animal quickly and efficiently, ethically, morally, and all that jazz. So please aim for the vitals. Complex Trophy is a brand new system that we haven't seen before in a hunting game. Now we've seen types of it, but not exactly how Way of the Hunter is doing it. I do already have a video on this and it will be linked in the description below if you want to check it out. But your trophy depends on three factors, fitness, weight, and age. So fitness is actually the genetics of the animal. So you can create a hunting haven by taking out low fitness animals to boost the genetics and create higher high fitness animals, which is really interesting. Uh, and also weight, which I'm guessing is just a random sort of factor and the age as well which means that our animals will age. This is pretty cool because if you don't take out an animal, there is a chance you might never see it again and it could die and disappear from your map without you harvesting it, which would suck. So keep that in mind when you're out there. But if you find a smaller animal that's high fitness, but young, maybe try to find it again in a couple of hours as it's probably grown. I don't know how fast animals grow in the game, but it's an idea. So yeah, definitely check out herd management and how it can boost the fitness of all animals of a particular species on your reserves. Now let's get into the giveaway. So I will be giving away a base edition of Way of the Hunter. Actually, you know what, stuff it. I'm gonna give away an elite edition of Way of the Hunter. And all you need to do to enter the giveaway is a couple of things. Subscribe, like this video, and comment below the first animal you'll be hunting in Way of the Hunter, as well as what console you're on. That was really quick. Let's get straight back into the video. Now, I think some of us might need this reminder that this is not a hunting game that we've already played before. This game will probably play a lot different to what you're used to. Number one, the reserves are much larger, almost double the size, in fact, which is absolutely huge. This would mean that I would start off slow, get a hang of all the new mechanics in the game, understanding how to herd manage in this game and how the weapons feel, how the driving feels. Just take your time. In other hunting games, I run to different zones for the first couple hours away of the hunter, if not tens of hours. I don't see myself running around much. This is because I know I'll spook things and it will probably delay how much experience I'm getting within the game because I'm scaring away too many animals. So that's what I'll be doing. Remember, this is a new game and it is a brand new experience to a lot of people. So yeah, basically just take it slow. 
With that, if you're wanting to learn about Way of the Hunter, as soon as the game drops, I'll be dropping out all sorts of guides and gameplay. So please consider subscribing for that as we are getting closer and closer to 5,000 subscribers, which is my goal by the end of the year. And you can help us out with that. Market price. Now market price is pretty cool. New system, we're not used to it at all, but it looks to impact how much money you can make. I would consider that if you harvest a lot of a particular species, it can actually drop the value of that species meat. It would only make sense that if I had a hundred whitetail, then the demand drops and the price drops. But at the same time, I can imagine that mule deer and Rocky Mountain elk venison, sky rockets, or maybe even predatory meats like bear would be worth a lot more money because there's just an influx of other meat on the market and not a lot of bear meat. Something to consider when you're out hunting. Also, the money you get looks to be dependent on how much damage you do to an animal. This means that if you're using a 300 on an animal, for example, like a mule deer, it'll do a lot more damage than if you're using a 270 or even a 243 to the flesh of the animal, meaning that you will actually get less money than using a weapon that does less damage to the meat, if that makes sense. Let me know if you need more clarification in the comments. All right, for the last thing that you need to know about Way of the Hunter is actually my favorite. It is blood trail analysis. Within blood trail analysis, there are three things, color, amount, and impurities. This is actually really exciting because it's exactly what it would look like when hunting in the real world, as they are all indicators of if you hit a vital and what vital it was. For example, looking at this, this blood is pink, there's lots, and it has air bubbles. This means it's probably a long shot. It is awesome to see systems in place that you can bring into the real world and real world hunting. I'm a big fan of this, and I can't wait to check it out when I'm hunting animals within Way of the Hunter. Way of the Hunter is a game I am very much looking forward to, and I cannot wait to share some more gameplay with you guys. If you want to check out more, please like, comment, and subscribe.